Ayo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Candy here today, and yeah, I bet you weren't expecting to hear from me again, but don't worry, I'm back, and uh, there's a couple good reasons why I've just been gone for like the last couple months. I'm like running an event called Minecraft Ultimate right now, it's like the second biggest Minecraft event ever, so it's pretty cool, and then I've also been streaming a lot on Twitch, and then I'm also a junior in college now, so like life's been, life's been getting really, really tough with school and stuff, but uh, I finally got some time to actually start recording again, and here we are on a brand new prison server so this server is called oplegends.com um if you guys want to get a free first rank which i think is the mortal rank if you go on the store and get like the mortal rank in your cart and then use code candy you'll actually get one like for free which is pretty cool so then you guys can get on the server and like play with me but we're on prison neptune and i'm probably gonna be streaming some of this on my twitch from time to time so if you want to go follow my twitch it's gonna be twitch.tv slash dr candyman i'll have that all in the description so go ahead and check that out but um, yeah, man, I haven't played prisons in so long, so we're probably gonna be absolutely trash And I think this map started last week, too I just really didn't get the time to get on so we are already so far behind But luckily we managed to get ourselves some crate keys and some monthly crates So hopefully we should be able to use a couple of these to get ourselves a little bit of an advantage over some of the other players Like obviously nothing crazy, right? Nothing crazy, but this should help us catch up a little bit So here we go monthly crate November one key gives nine rewards left click to preview the rewards and then right click to open the crate so let's preview these uh real quick and see what we can get so you can get some money pouches those are good we can get some orbs so if you guys haven't seen like my other prison series we use basically tokens to upgrade our pickaxe but on this server they're actually called orbs it's basically the same thing if i want to get like a really nice custom enchant on my pickaxe i just have to get like a bunch of orbs basically and then i can get like i don't know some cool enchants on my pickaxe i'll show you guys them once we actually start like going through all these stuffs but then we can also get some gem armor over here we can get some beacon finders some robots which are really nice and then you know some ranks and then some private access and then some fly which i think i should already have being partner rank on the server but nevertheless let's go ahead and open up one of these let's pick all nine and see if we get anything good off of this let's see let's see let's see let's see what are we gonna get for our first one okay so we got some xp pouches that's pretty good we got some money boosters those are also good some more xp pouches a turkey chest plate what there's armor contains the power of the turkey gem so with four pieces, we get up to a 55% cell boost. Holy crap, that's actually really cool. And then what else did we get? Some more, uh, oh, we didn't even spin that one. We got 15 more relic crate keys. We got five million orbs, that's awesome. And then we got the turkey gem armor leggings. Cool, so now I think with both of those, right, we should actually have a 35% cell boost. That's actually really good. So here, let's take off this leather set that we have and let's put on our turkey chest plate. That's awesome, all right. And then I think we got five million-ish, uh, yeah, we got five million orbs too. So that means we can definitely upgrade our pickaxe quite a bit, but you know what? I'm gonna open up one more of these and uh, I think after that, we'll save the rest of them for another episode and maybe move on to the relic keys. All right, here we go. Let's open up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then let's open up the ninth one up there. Okay, let's see if we get anything good. More money pouches, more XP pouches. Anything else though? We got eh, we got 50 beacon finders. That's okay. 20 loot keys, and then I think we got some more orbs. Yeah, we got 10 million more orbs. Holy crap, that is a ton. Unfortunately. We got some more turkey leggings, which isn't great. I mean, we could probably sell this and maybe try and trade that for boots. Wow, look at this. You got leggings twice. I have boots twice. Want to trade? We actually might have our first trade of the season over here. Trade leggings for boots. And then I think that'll give us actually a 50% sell boost. Holy crap. We actually might need to do that. But you know what? Before we even do that, let's go ahead and start working on upgrading our pickaxe. So here we go. Uh, to right click, wow, wait a second, Dragon Burst 25, Orb Greed 25, that's cool, so the way that you actually upgrade pickaxes on here is that, like, you don't, like, need to slash upgrade or slash enchant or anything, you literally just right click your pickaxe, so there you go, we right click our pickaxe, and then we have a whole bunch of different enchants that we can go through, so for example, we already have Dragon Burst level 25, and this one says, harness dragon power for a chance of breaking a full mine layer, so I imagine it's like, it just breaks the entire layer right underneath you, so like, the whole Y level, I'm assuming it just breaks right we also have greed which gives you a cell multiplier which progressively increases for each level so that is essentially like a cell multiplier i imagine we've also got the orb greed one which gives you more orbs we've got combos lucky pouch finder boost gives you a cell boost which applies to all blocks and then replenish which gives you whoa blocks you generate as you mine them that actually sounds super cool and then this one gives you a little bit more xp so to be honest i feel like i feel like we should probably get our fortune up because fortune is really good fortune is going to give us a lot of money and we have 15 million orbs so we can definitely get quite a bit of levels off of this let's just do 
I don't know. Let's do 5 million levels of this. Or let's do... <laughs> did I just say 5 million levels? Let's do 500 levels of that, right? And then let's go back and uh, we can probably leave our efficiency. Efficiency doesn't matter too much. Let's go do some Dragon Burst. Because Dragon Burst, dude, that just sounds like a cool one. Let's go ahead and spend, I don't know, 250. Let's get 250. No, you know what? Uh, we have 5.6 million orbs. We can't even do that much. All right, let's do 250 there, and then let's just do another 100, and then I think we can afford to do another 100. So there we go. Our pickaxe is already really good. We've got Dragon Burst level 475, and then Orb Greed level 25, and then Fortune level 25, or 525. So that should be good for only being on uh, level A. So let's go ahead, hit the mine, warp A, and then see how good this pickaxe actually is. By the way, we still need to do that trade so we can get ourselves the turkey boots, and then we can probably find a guy that we can buy the turkey helmet off of. That way we'll have the full 55% sell boost. Alright, so we are at Godly Speed's plot right now. He's got a nice plot going around, and we're going to go ahead and trade him. I think he's got the boots that we need, and we're going to trade him the leggings that we have. Okay, so here we go. This guy's dropped first. Yeah, let's do boots for leggings. Yeah, okay. You drop first. Okay, did he drop first? Did he? What did he give us? He gave us turkey boots. Okay, that's great. Now let's go ahead and give him the turkey leggings. Uh, GG trading with you, TY. All right, perfect. So now we got a 55%. Oh, no, it's just a regular 50% sell boost. That's awesome. Now all we need to do is get someone that has a helmet, and then we'll have a full 55% sell boost, which is awesome. I did not even realize this, but we have two more of these Halloween loot boxes. I'm opening one right now, and these actually give you a chance to get some of the Halloween armor that we just got from before. Um, hopefully we get something good out of this. I don't know. We got 3 million orbs, 11 million orbs, and then 4 times money boosters for 15 minutes. Now, that was pretty good. Let's open up 3 more of these, and then, oh, actually 2 more of these, and hopefully we'll be able to roll ourselves the helmet, because, man, we really need that helmet right now. Unless we get another pair of, like, leggings or boots or any other pieces we can probably trade that we got another six million orbs and then some more loot keys which is pretty good and let's open up the last one please give me some helmets please give me some boots please give me any of this armor that i can use to trade or like barter with someone i saw some boots roll by i saw some boots roll by what is that six million more orbs and then is that a pumpkin helmet or that's a pumpkin gem armor chest plate wait what is this is this the same thing that we had before okay yeah it is it's wait this one is so different hold on these are turkey chest plates and this is a pumpkin chest plate okay so this one gives us a cell boost right and this one gives you a 12 percent chance at two times orbs wait a second this actually might be better than the turkey one because right now our main goal is not to get money our main goal is actually to get um ores or actually orbs because the more orbs that we get the better that we can upgrade our pickaxe so ooh, this is a tough one i don't know which one to choose from between the pumpkin chest plate or the turkey chest plate but since we do have you know three pieces of this set let's just go ahead and use that for now and put the rest of this in our ender chest all right, so here we are in the mine. Let's go ahead and see if any of these enchants will proc and if we'll actually make like a good amount of money to rank up to the next one. Wow, that was really quick. So this reminds me of like the jackhammer enchant back on uh, back on the prison server that I used to play beforehand, which is also pretty fun. But this is literally like jackhammer. It's kind of cool. It destroys the entire layer. As you guys saw, we like cleared out all three of these layers and i imagine that as we keep upgrading uh dragon burst even more it'll just keep getting better and eventually we'll be making a ton of money so right now we're at 2.7 million i think we didn't actually get that much money out of the crates wow we're at 2.8 almost 2.9 already and what did we just get oh this somebody just donated and got the mortal rank using slash buy okay that's pretty cool we're at 2.9 million we're almost at 3 million and we are at 32 million orbs so we can still upgrade quite a bit and then we've got 1.1 thousand exp or 1.2 thousand exp so yeah we're making some pretty good money over here that's that's pretty awesome so let's check out how much it's going to cost to rank up if that's even going to be that expensive okay wait twenty thousand. hold on hold on hold on dude we are going to be ranking up so quickly with this hopefully we don't get kicked out of the server oh wait never mind we're already out of money we got up to rank i and the next one is j and that costs 2.5 million dollars so let's go ahead and let's warp to slash j and i think oh no click here to go to your mind three seconds and let's see if that's going to have some better blocks for us to get to and eh, not too many better blocks it's sandstone at least it's a pretty easy block to break it's not like wool or anything that's like or like dirt that's really hard to break with the pickaxe but let's see how much money we're making we're at 104 million 105 million how did we get that so quickly we just got 
a times three booster that gave us 105 million 108 wait this is so strange that we're getting this much money that quickly we're at 166 million jesus christ okay never mind that is a really really good that was that's a really good pickaxe holy crap and then we we we're already at 207 million that's awesome we've got some minecraft vouchers some tier three minecraft vouchers and then some lemonite gems gems can be used to craft gem armor with slash gem armor gem armor okay this looks pretty cool uh, this is protection 10 and then it gives a 35% cell boost when you have all four pieces well I guess other than the protection and unbreaking 100 this actually isn't that better than what I have right now because although these obviously aren't used for PvP this gives you a 55% cell boost whenever you have all four pieces so I don't know if it's even worth me keeping this lemonite stuff like it doesn't even seem that good but holy crap man 215 million 216 million we actually might be able to prestige to the next one like super quick here 10 million 50 million 150 million and then we need another 900 or we need another 200 million ish to get to the next one but i feel like at the rate we're going right now i mean we will get there just so quickly let's see 4.9 billion 5 billion 5.1 billion we're gonna be trillionaires probably by the end of this episode that is crazy let's rank up again 500 million 1 billion 5 billion and then let's go to a new mine wow we're actually we might actually get to rank z by the end of this and literally become a trillionaire okay now we've got some end stone that's cool but what are we already at we're already at 7.5 64 billion holy crap this is actually making so much money this is actually unfair i feel like i'm doing this wrong literally okay the next one's gonna cost us 75 billion dollars that's easy that's fine we're at t we have tuv w x y z but don't you guys worry we're gonna get there super fast because we already are at a hundred billion in like a couple seconds yeah there you go man a hundred and forty a hundred and two hundred billion dollars in literally a couple seconds that is awesome what is that Twenty thousand orbs right there okay well i guess twenty thousand orbs isn't really that good considering we have 32 million but you know what? let's just rank up to the next one and i need 259 billion dollars to get to uh the next one w x x y z okay so we're we're all we are we're so close dude we're at 379 billion rank up we need another 16 million that's easy we're at 500 600 billion we are literally going to be a trillionaire uh click to next one to go to z so now we literally need one trillion dollars to get to x or to get to y and i think literally after that we should be good we're at 600 800 we're trillionaires man we're trillionaires and we need two to get to y to level z dude that's easy man all we need to do is just mine like for like five more seconds and then we'll get there right 1.4 trillion if we just mine a little bit boom two trillion dollars there we go rank up and now we are at rank Z. We literally just beat the game in like five minutes. Literally because we got one crate key or like one monthly crate or two monthly crates. We literally beat the game so quickly. And now we are literally making like a trillion dollars a minute or a trillion dollars every five seconds. Holy crap. If I've, ne I've never seen OP prisons this OP before. Like, like we're literally, we're about to become quadrillionaires. Forget trillionaire. We're about to become quadrillionaires. How much does it cost to prestige? P-R-E-S-T-I-G-E. To prestige cost 2.2 trillion dollars okay that was pretty easy let's go to the next one uh prestige level three you have prestige prestige level two how much does it cost to get to the next one that's going to cost us 2.4 trillion dollars and i think at the rate that we're doing this right now we are going to get there in a second yeah there we go boom prestige level three holy crap we are actually so op i'm kind of you know what i'm gonna do boys i'm gonna go mine for like five minutes and just see how far we can get to like because obviously this is taking a little bit of a uh of a while to just keep prestiging every single time but i genuinely feel like i can probably get to prestige like level 10 or something by the time i want to end this episode off okay um i didn't really need to mine for five minutes i just stopped recording and then did sp did uh the spam of slash prestige and then we actually got ourselves to prestige level 15 this one is going to cost us five trillion we can honestly knock that knock that out in like a couple seconds but is it worth it i don't think so i mean look how much stuff we've gotten so far we've gotten 64 beacons i don't even know how we've gotten that because i don't think we've been mining beacons oh you know what's been happening so every time we like clear out a layer apparently it just gives the beacons which is pretty cool i guess um i guess it's just a more efficient way to mine rather than like efficient rather than just trying to mine each individual beacon because look at this that takes you like what five or six seconds that's just too long when i can literally just go get 
um, just like use the dragon enchant and then just get all of them first. So here we go. We got some more Minecraft vouchers, some more Lemonite gems, and then a tier two and some tier three. So I guess that's all right. If we just keep redeeming some of those and probably go back to like the little crate key area, we can get some pretty good ones. But I gotta say, man, for episode number one, I think we did really, really well. We're up to 4.8 trillion. We've probably spent at least like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 trillion dollars already on prestiging and ranking up. But look at these guys, man. I, I think I'm good at level prestige 15 level prestige but look at this guy he's at prestige level 60,000 like we are nobody still I mean I, th I thought it was easy but I guess there's a reason why because these guys are over here at level 20,000 35,000 30,000 60,000 like let's check out prestige top P top I imagine prestige top uh prestige top I imagine that's the command this guy is literally at prestige level 100,000 Holy crap, we need to do slash prestige 100,000 times in order to actually catch up to this guy. That is going to take a while, but you know what? I think we can at least get to maybe prestige level 100 or 200 for the next episode, but I think that's going to be it for this first one. If you guys did enjoy and are back and finally happy to see me back on a prison server, uh, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe, and make sure you go follow the Twitch and check out the server, oplegends.com, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.